Man, it's, you know, you play so many games, man, it's hard to even remember, man. And, you know, one thing I didn't learn to have is a short memory. You know, just from the you know past loss that we have, you know, this Sunday, you know, they basically just having a short memory and being able to kind of just cut everything off and then restarting right back, you know, real real fast for this Thursday night game. So, um, you know, it, it is a good thing that we are, you know, stopping the run and doing as good as we are on defense. But, you know, at the end of the day, this league always is about wins. So, you know, that's the main thing, um, you know, giving our, our offense as many poss possible opportunities to be able to get the ball back and then also create more turnovers too. So that's I think that's one of the biggest things. It's pretty clear the 49ers, they run the football really mm -hmm. well. What are some of the things that you've seen that, that stand out mm -hmm. as far as how they're able to, to you know, run the football? Uh, just looking at some, some of the guys on the offensive lines, you got guys like Trent Williams, uh, he's been in the league, veteran, um, you know, been good for a really long time. He's one, one of those guys that, you know, he, he you know, makes that, that whole O-line go. And, you know, seeing their tight ends as well, they block really well. And then also seeing the fullbacks too, they, they block really well. So, you know, they got, a, as a whole, they really have a really good offense. You know, they really commit to the run. They know how to finish. And you know, it's going to be a real real big challenge for us defensively. And I, I think we're excited about that too. And then with, with Debo, uh, Samuel, you know, they like to run him, but mm -hmm. use a lot of window dressing. Like you got to dial in on, mm -hmm. on the back or whoever's getting the ball. But yeah. it's like tough with the, the misdirection. Mm -hmm. How do you- Oh, no doubt. Um, you know, and that's, yeah, you know, unique thing that they do with him. He's a receiver, but he also runs like a running back. So, you know, anything that they try to do with him, he, you know, he's been proven on film that, you know, he can make big plays, you know, being back there. So, you know, like you said, we just got to be able to be dialed in on the misdirection because they, they can do a lot of things and they got a lot of guys that can make plays, you know, from just, you know, the running back, the receivers to the tight ends, all the way down to the fullback. So, you know, we just got to be, you know, tuned in on all things like that. Rashad, I know last year was a long time ago, but how much different is the mindset, the attitude, maybe the confidence level mm -hmm. you guys need to get things done now compared to, to a year ago? Um, you know, it's it feels like it's night and day. And, you know, it was one of those things that it, it you know, it took some time to happen. You know, gradually as we got better individually, you know, you start seeing the defense making more plays, start seeing players, you know, get used to playing with guys that's next on the side of them, beside them. So, you know, the more and more that we get, you know, games up on our belt and, you know, going late into this this season, um, you know, we, we're hitting on all cylinders, it feels like. So, you know, we just got to continue to be consistent in what we're doing. And, you know, once we got to, you know, once again, we got to go against another big challenge against the 49ers, who is a good run offense and, you know, uh, you know, going against these guys is going to be really exciting. How do things kind of feel out there with you and Zach getting some live game reps together? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, I mean, Zach is a phenomenal player. Um, you know, just having our first game up under our belts with each other, you know, it went really well. And, you know, we'll continue to just feed off each other, you know, just in practice on communication and, you know, fits and different things and how he, how he runs and how he gets to certain, um, you know, gaps and stuff like that. So we're just, you know, getting all the things, you know, situated for this upcoming Thursday, Thursday night game. And, you know, just to have a guy like him and a, a good player, a good smart player like him, you know, just makes the defense better. Any different preparing for a Thursday night game mm. this late in the season mm. with the short prep time? Yeah, um, you know, it's a, it's a bit different um, just from having, usually have more days to just kind of prepare, you know, throughout the week for, you know, getting ready for Sunday. But, you know, once you come off this past Sunday, and you got to go and do a Thursday night game. You, you literally have to kind of just forget about everything and almost, you know, just kind of just, you know, forget about the, the things that you that you did last week and literally just worry about the things this week. So it's a quick turnaround, but, you know, that's the thing about the NFL. You know, you're a professional player and you got to be able to do those things. So. Um, you know, like I said, we just got a big challenge coming up this Thursday, and we're ready. Brable brought up the play where he's missed three tackles on one play. They only gained one yard to mm. point out how you'll fly around the ball. Mm. Where, where does that attitude come from? Where does that mm. start? Why does this team have mm. I think it's one of those things we kind of – we, we developed it over time. You know, it's be, it kind of kind of became our identity, um, you know. Nobody feels that they're bigger than anybody as far as, you know, making plays and, you know, everybody feels like they, you know, whenever they get out of their their their, their, their role or what they're supposed to do on the field, they know they got to, you know, rally to the ball. And, you know, we've seen on film multiple times that if the first guy misses that tackle, you know, that second guy has another opportunity. And you know, even then, you know, the third guy might have an opportunity. That also, too, creates turnovers, too. The opportunity where you got a guy that's going down, you can punch the ball out and, you know, you can change the game. So. I think that's one of the biggest emphasis. Everybody's seen it on film. It's been proven, and you know I think it's starting to register with a lot of guys on defense.